Hello, Nick here at Camping World Center Conway, New Hampshire, uh, giving you a brief overview of this beautiful A32 Freedom Traveler that we have here. Uh, I've taken the liberty to open some of the exterior compartments here, just to uh, pare things down just a touch and, and give everyone as good of an idea as possible while not being too very verbose about this. Uh, here you are with the, the battery compartment and, uh, and some of the other uh, features and function components uh, that you're, that you're going to be working with, slide, slide stuff, hydraulics lines, uh, your, your, your propane tank. Um, the ample storage compartment all around. A brief overview of the outside storage containers. And it wet dry. Additional here. Now, you will not uh, have any outdoor kitchen, but what you will have is an outdoor television. Uh, as such, around to the rear of the trailer. Flat at the top, you'll note the frameless windows. Uh, these Fre Freedom Travelers, by the way, are uh, Camping World exclusive. Uh, they're only sold at Camping Worlds. Uh, again, the, uh, the slide top of the awning over the slide. Back down to the uh, storage underneath. This is a full pass through with a couple caveats. You get a you get a little bit of light space on top for storage in the ample compartment on either side. There's your Onin 4000 generator, uh, the dump outs, uh, as well as the, your your little outdoor shower to wash up, uh, and then storage from here on in. Uh, another ample compartment here, here, and up the front of the coach here. You'll see all the way down that this is one large slide, and as noted on the layout, uh, Schwintec slides, uh, one bottom to top, same on the other edge. Fully walkable roof, uh, onto the interior. So again, we are slid out here. So you have the uh, catch on one side with both belts. As you'll see under here, this is a bed, right? So that, that, that does fully pull out. Your dinette space does drop down. They call a dream dinette. And what this does, if you look underneath, is release, release this function so you can push down as such. And then Clearly what would happen is this, this comes underneath these cushions, these fold down into sleep space over here. Over here, you do have the bunk up here so that the mechanism does come down to about the point of the top of the seats. And that uh, gives you ample sleep space up there. So if you not, not see how this operates, it's just a as simple as that so one or two and just room for the passenger to to have some space to there we go just trying to give you give you an idea here cab forward design uh, you will see that this touch screen is directed towards the driver so as you're driving and sitting in the seat you have a really easy access to your to your main screen for gps radio otherwise uh, some of the stuff up here is going to include electronic one-touch auto leveling, uh, your mirror control, your mirror heat. Uh, over here, what you have is your sunshade, your driver fan and passenger fan here, here, and as such. And it would pull down. Uh, on the sides, it is a curtain, so you would have full coverage both here and here. You will have some space underneath on both sides of your dinette uh, seating area for storage. Same on the other. Coming this way, of course, you have some drawer space. This top one is just a small, but the rest of these are full drawers that come out. We'll open one, for example, all the way back. All right, cupboard space up top, and there's your box. Now they do have two ladders in here. One of them is going to be to access this top bunk here. So here's the under bunk. You'll note that both of these do have windows, which makes the bunk area a lot nicer. 
Um, it feels less like a, a small den sort of space. Um, over here, you're gonna have some USB ports as well as GFI outlet and a tap light for uh, reading or just night light. Max air fan. What you have here is your bathroom, of course. Um, very nice setup that does not involve any sort of shower curtain. You're gonna close that obviously it latches closed for traveling purposes. Here you have your vanity, just a mirror here and then an extra storage space behind underneath a little bit of storage as well. down here come on and uh and again storage over here so so a lot of little nooks nooks in the nooks in the restroom area there just towels and, and bathroom accoutrement um the sec the second ladder uh is going to be for this over here and you can see where this attaches so when this pulls down it ends up again here and you'll have a ladder that connects into these rungs here similar to these here to get to your top bunk. Bedroom space, you have a full king bed. Storage above the bed. Ample and on hydraulic. The same goes for all three of those. Television directly across from the bed, so good placement there. And there's your thermostat controls lights for the bedroom as well as a GFI and USB again here underneath you have some drawers for storage space there's one over the other they're both similarly sized six drawers over here and one side and the other now what you'll see in here of course is the table that would mount on this post directly to the front compartment over by the captain's chairs there's there's a there's a small um, sconce where where the, the pole sits on this side and this side to give you a little table in that area. So again, the second ladder. Hang space for, for stuff and, and, and relatively ample storage here. This exit window, which does provide you more than just an exit space, just some air uh, to, to open. So it's, a, it's something that certainly could, could, could be opened like this and, uh, and, and propped open to allow some, allow some airflow. This is actually sectioned off here. So for privacy, you have the door that, that closes here, right? the sliding door. You'll note that on the sides of the bed, you do have um, you do have some USB ports and 12 volt accessory outlet here, and uh, and three drawers on this side. Similarly, one drawer and, and a small cabinet over on this side. Of course, your AC unit. Rear burner stove and oven, small backsplash, microwave and hood. And then sitting here would be the television space for the, the living area. Both of these are rotational, so of course the captain's chair and in the passenger chair could be could be rotated around to seat company. Uh, so if everyone's in one living space, there's two, two additional seating options. Your refrigerator, and I know we discussed not maybe having to open this and go, go through it, but here we have. As well as ample space up top. A little bit more storage. There you have it. That is the meat and potatoes as were of this unit, 19 foot awning out here. Any questions, please do give me a shout or anything you'd like me to focus more upon. I, I certainly don't want to miss much, but I think we're, we're relatively thorough. Um, I hope this does help and, uh, and, and look forward to speaking. Thanks. Take care.